What's going on everybody, it's Delver and welcome to my channel. So today I'm really excited to announce that I'm going to be bringing XR courses again to LearnXR.io. So I'm gonna be focusing on two different areas right now. One is gonna be an augmented reality development path and also a virtual reality development path. I'm also going to be including a C-sharp course, which is basically going to be free for a limited time. The way that I'm making it work is that you're going to be taking that as a prerequisite. So you're gonna be taking the C-sharp course. It's going to be teaching you the fundamentals of C-sharp, data types, how to create a console application, how to define methods, how to deal with object-oriented programming, basically a lot of different features that are part of the C-sharp language but I'm also going to be covering features for Unity, such as, you know, what's the life cycle of a Unity script. We're also gonna be looking at different Unity events, also how Unity and also the inspector, how does it work, how variables work. So the goal for me is that you understand C Sharp well enough so that you can jump into the other two training courses. So the other training courses are gonna be, the first one is gonna be Augmented Reality Development with AR Foundation, we're going to be using the latest version of Air Foundation as of today, which is 5.0 or greater by the time that I get this release. We're gonna be looking at the core fundamentals of Air Foundation, how you work with the camera, how you work with different tracking modes and device tracking. We're also going to be looking at features that Air Foundation provides, such as body tracking, plane detection, point clouds, and so on. There's a lot of different features that we'll be covering in AR Foundation. And the way that I have it, that I'm thinking about it, is that we're gonna be building the all the feature sets. So I'm gonna be teaching you all different features with the goal of actually building an MVP. So you'll be able to walk away with an MVP that you created. It's something that you can show off if you're, you know, if you're looking for a job. I think that's going to always be very beneficial. I'm also going to be looking at how to build a portfolio. So we'll talk about how you can do that with GitHub, you can do that with websites, and different ways that I've done it myself over the years. And then lastly, I'm gonna show you and talk about what I've been asking people when I'm doing different interviews. I think it's really helpful for me because I did a lot of interviews with many different developers on augmented reality and virtual reality, and there were a lot of takeaways of things that I was looking for. So. I think the takeaway from these courses is not only that you're gonna be learning the technology, but also what you can walk away as far as like what you need to do to get a job. So similarly with VR, we are going to be doing you know, C-sharp and then going from C-sharp to augmented reality. But if you wanna do virtual reality, I'm also including a new course there that is gonna teach you everything that you need to know to basically start a VR prototype, create a VR prototype, or actually build your own VR experience. And this is gonna be similar. We're gonna be looking at the architecture, basically how to deal with the controller, how to deal with the camera rig, what are the different tracking modes, what are some of the XR specific features that are available in the XR toolkit, and then building that up to a point where you can build your own MVP, your own prototype, and then also look at the same thing that we did with the AR Foundation course, where you're gonna be building your own portfolio, gonna be just sharing with you some of the questions that I, you know, you might be thinking about before going into an interview. And then hopefully, you know, with these two training courses really get you prepared to getting a job. So the other thing that I wanted to talk about is the pre-sale period. So the pre-sale period, as of now, the, the course for C-sharp is going to be free. And that's going to go from February 5th all the way to February 25th. And that is the same thing with the other, the AR course and also the VR course. These two are going to be 50% as of today. So just make sure that you look at those because you're gonna get basically a sneak peek and an early access to these courses by the time that I release them, which is gonna happen between April 10 and April 17. So April 10 is gonna be for the C Sharp course. That's when that one will go out. A week after we'll be releasing the augmented reality course and also the virtual reality course. So that way you get you know a few days to get familiar with the C Sharp course. And these all of these courses are self-paced, so you can take them you know, on your own time. You can pause it, you can look at them later when you're, you know, maybe you're done with work and you want to look at doing some training. I think this is the beauty about creating and actually consuming courses like this. So 
make sure that you check that out. And what I wanna do next is I wanna show you some of the features that we're gonna be including in all of these courses and what topics we're going to be talking about. All right, guys, so this is the portal where I'm gonna be hosting the courses, which is learnxr.io. If you scroll down, you're gonna see that I'm currently offering three different pre-sale courses. One of them is gonna be the c -sharp Programming Fundamentals, and this one's gonna be free for the time period of a pre-sale, which is gonna go from today up to February 25th. So just make sure that you get that. And I'm gonna be covering the basics of c -sharp Programming and also how to use c -sharp with Unity, which is gonna be one of the prerequisites that these two other courses are gonna have. And the AR development with AR Foundation is also on pre-sale 50% off. So just make sure that you get that today because you're gonna get that 50% price for limited time. And then I'm gonna be using AR Foundation for this course. We're gonna be looking at all the different features. I'll show you here the outline. And also the VR development with the XR Interaction Toolkit is in pre-sale for 199. So the way that it's gonna work is we're gonna be using this as a prerequisite and then you can use either the AR development and, and get that one to get familiar with augmented reality, build MVP, prototypes and basically, you know, hopefully line you a job in that area. And then also the VR development with XR Interaction Toolkit is gonna have this one as a prerequisite. So I have the pre-sell here requirements and when it's going to start and when it's going to end, which is basically today up to the 25th. Just make sure that you look at that and also some of the devices that are currently going to be used for these courses. So if you look at the programming fundamentals, I included all different sections in here, introduction, getting started, course shared programming features, coding standards, methods, OOP, which is a really, really important topic. Also a, a bonus section and C-sharp with Unity, where we're gonna be looking at what Unity needs as far as like scripting and how to use scripting in Unity. On the AR Foundation side, I'm also including the curriculum and course topics. You have the prerequisites in here, which is an iOS device with ARKit support or an Android with AR Core. Again, I'm gonna be including additional information that you might need to be able to take this class, which is gonna give you a list of all the different Android devices that are going to be supported and also from which version of iOS and known you can actually use to take this course. I also have you know all the different features that I'm going to be covering. Also some of the rapid iteration AR tools, which are really, really, really beneficial. And I recommend looking into this section, building and deploying your first cross-platform AI experience. It's a really cool section that I'm really excited about it. And also how to get a job with AR skills. I think that's one of the questions that I get the most in you know on YouTube and also on Discord. So just make sure that you look at these to you know to determine if this is the right fit for you. And also on the VR development side, we're gonna be looking at everything related to the XR interaction toolkit. And there's gonna be you know in this case it's gonna be 27 lessons, but I want to hear your feedback as you look at these two different courses. And because we're doing a pre-sale right now, this is a time to be able to suggest to edit, to you know, get questions from you. That way I can tailor these courses to the best possible way to teach you, you know, really what you're looking for. And, but for now, this is the outline that I have. This is preliminary, some of the things might change, but just take a look and if you have questions, let me know. On this one, I'm also including, you know, what is the prerequisite? Also, what devices I'm gonna be using? And you don't need to have all of these devices, it's just gonna be one of them that you have or if you have devices, an XR device with OpenXR and Windows Mixed Reality Support, which is basically what works with XR Interaction Toolkit, then you can, you can use those devices. So for instance, I use a Pico 4 to do development on the XRI. So that one works well. You might have, you know, maybe a different type of device that you wanna use. Just let me know and I'll be able to help you in, you know, determining if that's going to be supported or not. Also in here, I'm gonna go through the you know, introduction, what to expect from this course, getting a started guide, what hardware requirements you need, which is some of the ones that I cover, in addition to how to set up either for the AR or VR course, how to set up your development environment with a PC or a Mac, and what are some of the benefits of using one versus the other. We're also gonna be looking at some of the core knowledge for VR, what is the architecture, what are some of the, in, what are interactors, interactables, interaction manager, 
a camera rig, controllers, and so on, and also specific features, right? You may want to do an X array, you may want to do direct interactions, poke interactions. I'm gonna be showing you a lot of the features that are available. Same thing with, uh, as we did on the AR development course, I'm gonna be doing with VR. I'm gonna show you some of the VR tools that are going to help you in creating experiences with you know, optimizing your time so you don't spend too much time deploying to your device and waiting for that. So, and then lastly, again, how to get a job with VR skills. We're also gonna be building and deploying a prototype and some bonus areas which I thought were beneficial, but that's honestly the all the courses that I'm gonna be releasing. So the courses I'm gonna be releasing from April 10 to through April 17. So more likely I'm gonna have the C Sharp Programming Fundamentals available. I might get it available before then, but this is the day that I'm going to be releasing, which is officially releasing, which is gonna be April 10. And then a week after we're gonna be releasing the one for AR development. And then also the VR development is going to be coming out at the same time. So if you wanna get these two, I would recommend that you get them right now during the pre-sale. This price is gonna go up to uh, $4.99 as soon as you know we pass the 25th, which is the deadline. So, and if you have any other questions, just let me know in the comments. I'll be more than happy to talk to you about this. The other thing that I also wanted to mention is there's gonna be a Discord community for these courses. So you're gonna be able to interact with other people that are in the courses. And I also have a chat system in LearnXR.io that you can use to ask me questions at any time. You can also leave comments in the sections and I'll be able to help you with some of those as soon as the courses get released. So that's everything for today, guys. Thank you very much.